Today is Census Day. Have you mailed back your census form? Census Day is the reference date for collecting the census information. The U.S. Census Bureau mailed or hand-delivered about 134 million census questionnaires to households in March. To date, just over half of those households have mailed their census forms back. Residents still have time to fill out and mail back their 10-question census form, saving the government about $57 for each household that does not have to be visited by an enumerator. Every household that fails to send back its census form by mail must be visited by a census taker starting in May. And joining us now to discuss the census day is Gene Wyant, Census Office Manager for the Charlottesville region. Gene, thanks for joining us. Um, hi, it's nice to be here, and I want to wish everyone a happy Census Day. Happy Census Day. Thank you very much. Well, are there certain populations that are reluctant to be counted? Um, I think there are some people who misunderstand the purpose of the census, and uh, there may be some concern about privacy, for example, you know, whether their information that we collect in the census will be used against them in some way. Um, We've certainly found that across, you know, uh, across the years, but we do have very strong safeguards in place to make sure that uh, this information is not shared with any other government agency. It's not shared with Homeland Security or the President or anyone else, and this is protected by um, federal court decisions all the way up to the Supreme Court. So uh, people need to know that this is purely for the purpose of being able to count the number of people as required by our Constitution, and the information is not shared. So we, we work very hard to get that information out to the public at large. Is the Hispanic community one group that is a challenge to be counted? Um, it's a challenge in certain ways, um, simply because of uh, the language uh, difference. But um, again, we've been doing this census every 10 years for the last 200 and, and uh, so many 20 years, I guess. This is uh, right. since 1790. So we have a lot of experience in dealing with um, with people who are new to the country or people who are. Uh, uh, immigrant populations in, in of all kinds, and well, so we have a lot of experience in this. We do have uh, a number of people on staff who speak Spanish. Uh, we have special centers um, available um, to help people who who have any difficulty with with the language or with the form well, to how, help them fill out the form. So, um, well, how is the we, Census we, Bureau reaching out to the Hispanic community specifically? Well, we've had um, a program in place for quite some time called the, par the Census Partnership Program, and these are people who are specially trained and experienced in um, reaching out to community groups, to churches, to various local institutions that may serve, uh, especially underserved populations for the most part. Um, they, they're, you know, I, I know that there's a, there's a certain focus here about uh, the Spanish-speaking populations, but there are many other populations as well that um, simply may not understand the purpose of this. So we have made, for the past year and more, we've have made a very concerted effort to try to reach uh, the many trusted local institutions that uh, can help us explain the census a little bit better and reach some of these populations. So, so for instance, you'll have like a uh, a person going to churches and the like to try to explain to the Hispanic community what it's all about? Um, not necessarily during church time, but there are many church groups that serve the community at large. And so um, uh, this is not, it's not a religious undertaking, but it is, we do understand that churches um, and synagogues and, and other uh, religious institutions are instrumental in the lives of many people um, who may just be getting a start here in, in the U.S. And Gee. so... Gene, what does um, it is, mean? It's an important point of contact for us. Gene, what does it mean for the area if the Hispanic population is not counted accurately? Well, it means that we'll be number one losing out on um, proper representation in our government institutions and in our in our elected bodies, but we'll also be losing out on federal funds and uh, state funds that come into the localities that are largely based on. Uh, population size. Okay, uh, we the, at the census we collect um, you know, right, the, at the this, number at that point, and the Gene, ages of have people to... so that people can plan a little bit better. Um, uh, and governments and and businesses both uh, for the populations that we have in place. All right, Gene. I want to appreciate you for joining us, uh, Gene Wyant, with the U.S. Census Bureau. Okay. Thank you very much. And now let's send it. Fill to out Mel. your form. <laughs>